Bucharest, Romania, often called the Paris of the East. It is one of the biggest cities in Eastern Europe. It is the capital of Romania and home to around 2 million people. Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Bucharest. After watching this travel guide you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From this huge building with more than 1100 rooms to the old town, and beautiful churches. If this travel guide is giving you new travel tips or maybe you just like it, please give a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. That's the way you can help so other people can discover the video as well. And I get to create new videos for you in the future. The city has two airports and the biggest one is Hendri Kolanda. It's located 18 kilometers north of the city center. To travel to the city you can use the airport bus. The journey takes around 45 minutes and a ticket will cost less than 1 euro. Another way to travel is by train. There is a 24 hour service. The journey takes around 30 minutes and a ticket costs less than 1 euro and 50 cents. And the last way to travel is by taxi and the journey costs around 12 euros. Let's start the Bucharest travel guide over here in the old city center. And the locals call it Centu Vegi. It's the old core of the city, but with a twist. During the communist period, over 10,000 houses were demolished to build the Palace of Parliament and later more about that building. This part was spared and became a city part of town, but there was a restoration between 2007 and 2011. Nowadays it's a nice place with old buildings, a lot of restaurants, boutiques and nightclubs. And one of the best places to take pictures is the Umbrella Alley, located in the Passage Victoria. And this is a building you can't miss, the Palace of Parliament. It has a surface of 365,000 square meters. And that makes it the largest building in Europe and also the heaviest in the whole world, since it weighs over 4 billion kilograms. The palace was built in a period of 13 years and the entire construction is the result of more than 100,000 workers. Today it is the seat of the Romanian parliament and a major tourist attraction. You can book guided tours in advance and to do that you have to call a phone number, it's really old school, and you can find the number in the text below the video. Do that one day before you want to go and also bring your passport during your visit. Close to the palace, it's only a 15 minute walk, you will find Union Square. It's one of the biggest and most important in the city. It's well known for the fountains. It's also a major transportation hub for metros and buses. And there is always a traffic jam, just like the whole city. And when you are lucky, in the evening there are sometimes some light shows. And close to the square you find some important landmarks, for example the National Museum of Art. And that museum is located in an old royal palace and houses regular collections of Romanian and European art. The European Art Gallery contains work by famous artists such as Rembrandt and Monet. And there is also a Romanian Art Gallery that showcases the work of Romanian artists. Almost next to the museum you will find the historic Athenaeum. The building was inaugurated in 1888 and has since been the home of the George Enescu Philharmonic Orchestra. It is considered to be one of the most important concert halls in Europe due to its excellent acoustics and unique architectural style. In a moment you know more about this beautiful church, but first the Chimichu Gardens. This public park is located in the city center and it is the oldest and most popular park in town. It covers an area of approximately 17 hectares. The park was designed in the mid-19th century by the German landscape architect Karl Mayer. 500 meters to the west from the gardens you will find Revolution Square. And this is an important historic site. Because this was the heart of the Romanian Revolution in 1998. Which led to the overthrow of the communist government. The most prominent feature of the square is the Memorial of Rebirth. A 25 meter tall marble pillar that was erected in 2005. A spot close to the Revolution Square is the Cresculesco Church, and that's an old one. The construction started in 1720. The church has been restored several times, and plans to demolish it were not carried out. 
Another recommendation to visit is the Stavo Proleos Monastery. It's an old Eastern Orthodox monastery located in the heart of the city center. It was built in 1724 by a Greek monk and it's well known as one of the most beautiful and well-preserved religious buildings in the city. In a moment you know the biggest park in any capital city in Europe and also a building that will remind you of Paris. But first one of the oldest constructions in town, the old princely court. It was the residence for centuries for the Princess of Wallachia, also known as Flat the Impaler Dracula. It was destroyed in the 19th century by an earthquake and at the moment there is a reconstruction going on so I can't show you the building, only this crap. But what I can show you is the old court church considered as the oldest preserved church in its original appearance in the city. The Old Court Church was part of the princely court and served for coronation ceremonies for 200 years. A perfect place to learn more about the history of this country is the National Museum of Romanian History. It houses over 750,000 artifacts, including potteries, weapons and costumes. The museum was founded in 1972 and it's located in a historic building formerly called the Palace of the Posts. The inspiration for this palace came from the Federal Post Palace in Geneva, Switzerland. A must visit is the Hera Strau Park. It is the largest park in any capital city in Europe. The park is centered around the Hera Strau Lake a man-made lake that was created in the 1930s as part of a project to improve the city's water supply. In this park you will also find the Village Museum. This museum showcases the traditional Romanian village life. And that includes real-size historical houses from all regions of the country. When you see this building you might think that you are in Paris, but you are not. You are still in Bucharest and this is also an Arc de Triomphe. It was built in 1935 to remember the Romanian victory in the First World War and to honor the brave free soldiers. What is the best time for a visit? I think the months April, May, June, September and October. The summers are really hot and the winters are cold and the days in the winter are shorter. This is one of the oldest buildings in town and also one of Europe's final caravanserais. It was built in 1808 and by the middle of the 19th century it was Bucharest's most important commercial complex. Please give a thumbs up when you like this Bucharest travel guide and if you don't want to miss new episodes just subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.